Sarah with itsyourgrade.com. Today we're going to talk about scientific notation. Scientific notation looks a little something like this. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. You have the decimal part, which is always a number between 1 and 10. You have the exponential part, and then you have the actual exponent. And the exponent, we um, write with the symbol n. If you have a positive exponent, this is the same as 1 times 10 n number of times. So if you have 10 to the 0, this is the same as just 1, because you're not multiplying by 10 any number of times. If you have 10 to the 1, this is the same as 1 times 10, which is equal to just 10. If you have 10 to the second, this is equal to 1 times 10 times 10, which is 100. If you have 10 to the third, this is 1 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. On the other hand, if you have a negative exponent, this is the same as 1 divided by 10 n number of times. So if you have 10 to the negative 1, this is the same as 1 divided by 10, which is 0 0.1. If you have 10 to the negative second, this is 1 divided by 10 times 10, which is 0 0.01. If you have 10 to the negative third, this is the same as 1 divided by 10 times 10 times 10, which is 0 0.001. This is how scientific notation generally looks. But how do you convert numbers to scientific notation? Well, we're going to look at that now. If you have a number that's larger than 1, then that means the exponent is going to be positive. So if we have 4,637, this number is greater than 1, and you want to move the decimal to the left. The decimal is right here, and we're going to move it to the left. One, two, three. The decimal will now go here so that we have a number between 1 and 10. So the new number is going to be 4.637 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3. We move the decimal three places. And that's what scientific notation looks like for this case. But what happens if the number is less than 1? So we have 0.0037. Now, our exponent is going to be negative, so we have to move the decimal to the right. One, two, three. Again, we stop here because this will give us a number between one and ten. We move the decimal one, two, three places, so we have 3.7 times ten to the negative third because it's a number that's less than one. Well, what happens if you're given scientific notation and you want to expand it to the normal number? Well, if it's a positive exponent, that means that the number is going to be bigger than 1. So we have to move the decimal to the right to get that number. So we have 1, 2, 3. We moved it three places because of the exponent. And this will give us the number 4, 6, 3, 7, which is the number that we started with. Here, we have a negative exponent. So um, that means we want to have a number that's less than, than 1. So we're going to have to move it to the left, the decimal. 1, 2, 3 places because of the negative 3. And now these two um, places, they don't have anything in them. So we have to fill them in with a 0. So you get 0 0.00, this is the 1, 2 space, 3, 7, which is what we started with. And that's all there is to scientific notation.